The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension says that the St. Paul police officer who shot and killed a man Monday is a 10-year veteran of the force. Sergeant Cody Blanchin is now on standard administrative leave. They say Blanchin shot and killed 24-year-old Howard Johnson after an exchange of gunfire. They say they recovered 10 bullet casings consistent with Blanchin's service weapon and three bullet casings from another gun. St. Paul police were initially responding to a 911 call for a domestic assault. Today, Johnson's family is calling on the department to share body camera footage. Our Adam Duxter has the latest on the investigation. We want answers. I want to know why. Why did you take him from us? Howard Johnson's family and friends joined community activists at St. Paul's Eastside Freedom Library Wednesday afternoon to mourn his loss and call for action. I love this boy like he was my brother. It's hard. I can't, I, I can't sleep. It's hard to eat. Around 6 p.m. Monday, St. Paul police say they've responded to a 911 call of domestic violence and potential assault. They say officers encountered a man with a gun who then appeared to try and carjack someone. Officers exited their vehicle to find the, the man standing in front of them with the handgun still in his hand. Officers discharged multiple rounds. The security footage obtained by WCCO shows an SUV pull out and then stop. Next, a pop. Then you see a St. Paul squad car followed by several gunshots. We're freezing the video at that point. Johnson's family says they're still not sure entirely what happened on Monday or what led up to their son's encounter with police. They say right now their biggest ask is for transparency, something they say police warned video would provide. I'm entitled to that. That is my child. I deserve to know what happened to him. We deserve to know what happened to our, fam to our family members. We deserve that much. Give that much to us. Johnson's family says he was the father of two twin boys, four-year-olds named Jalen and Jaden. They also acknowledge his past. He had a domestic violence conviction and an active arrest warrant connected to a domestic assault case. My cousin was a real person. Regardless if he had a background, regardless if he had a warrant, my cousin was a person that had a family that loved him, and we just want answers. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. In a statement to WCCO, St. Paul police say they, along with the mayor's office, are committed to releasing body camera footage as soon as possible. They say they're working currently with the BCA, which is leading the investigation to determine the appropriate time for that to occur.